Hey everybody, we are back. Now I gotta go to free to play where I'm probably gonna get bodied, but we did. Ooh, I mean, this is the same team that we we ran the numbers with, man. Ooh, <laughs> be a milky tentacle, of course. Why not? I think we've we've finally, and I don't want to jinx it, but I feel like we've kind of hit like an equilibrium. Uh, f immediately jinxed it from the new patch towards the new patch maybe i'm trying to figure out how we phrase this this is a this is a very good setup we got here um we went through a period where our old strategies got shaken up let's just be honest what what are you doing man what is this the uh no offense but like really hold on you can temporarily add a dodo to snipe one of the fish buffs and then sure I would add a blowfish. Anything but the mosquito getting the buff is good. It's, it, it seems to happen with a remarkable regularity. Um, we don't need to take a hedgehog. Let's save ourselves here. And a 5-5 mosquito beats a 2-5 peacock in my world right now. I don't think there's a, a desperate need for pivoting. We did it. We did it. Um... What I was going to say is, let's be honest, our old strategy essentially boiled down to buy a swan every time. As swan meta fell by the wayside, because it's been nerfed into oblivion, I'll give you one of those. I should give it to you, even though it doesn't change the amount of damage you output. You're more of an evergreen animal for us right now. Um... We're so lucky with the way the math worked out. Anyway, long story short, they nerfed the swan, but I kept taking the swan for a while, thinking the nerf wasn't that bad because I thought I was smarter than the people who had the data. And then I kept losing and going, why am I losing? And then, lo and freaking behold, when I stopped buying the swan, I started doing a lot better. So I, who up feeding day worm right now? I have said a, a great many things about the worm, okay? I think it's a good animal. Every time I take it, even when it's on early level up, I lose. So, why did I take it? Because in my head, I'm like, this time is different. I'm not sweating that. That was just an insanely strong team. That's going to happen from time to time. I also am not sweating this. I'm not sweating this. I'm not sweating this. I'm not really sweating this. F freeze an apple for this worm. I know that you're also going to say that the you need to feed the worm in order for the worm to do things. Be that as it may. The heck? Did you misclick? Um, I think that the thing you should think about is that actually what happened is that the Worm has become worse now that the swan is not like an auto take. What a team. Now that you don't have like a surplus of gold that you can feed the worm reliably with, unless you take the swan, maybe if you're going to worm, I guess. But I, I feel like it makes the game a little bit harder from the worm's perspective. But we're, we're doing fine right now. I'd certainly like... It, also, it never getting a level is a very not good uh, situation, but that's it's just something you can't really control for. I don't know if we add a rabbit here. Might be a little late to be, like, so fixated on the extra 1 HP. Level 2 turtle is gonna eat me alive, man. <laughs> I'm dumb toasted. <laughs> I'm freaking hosed. Look at this. Wasn't that bad. Okay, we're on 5? No, we're on 3. Okay. I think it's too late to try you. I think the worm needs the melon if it's gonna stick around. That doesn't count as eating a food, I guess. Sure, fair enough. Turns out a rabbit would have been like just one HP, so it would have been nice. Honestly, I feel like you could add another turtle. Like right here, and then freeze this, freeze this. 
The road to success is going to be a rocky one, my friends. I'm not, I'm not sold on this. But I'm also, I'm looking at a round like this and I'm feeling a little bit more positive. The turtle can stick for a minute. That doesn't bother me. It's round 10. Feed the dodo first, as insane as that might seem. Sell me. Buy me. Buy me, hit the worm. You're too good to me. Then we got this beautiful fish ready to go to level three and buff everything, including our leopard. Don't kill me. Don't, let's go, saved. Slightly saved. I'll take a draw. Just anything to get me to live for one more round, okay? Another worm is gonna be nice too, but we have to start here and then here. I am going to pill you and then I'm gonna do <laughs> I think our long term way forward from here is sell the fish and run dragon and tier ones. Oh, if only you had perished in that. If only you'd perished. Because I'm going down now. To a honey badger. Honestly, you got to put some respect on it. And by that, I mean I don't respect it in the slightest. But it is what it is. I kind of hate this squad, but that's okay. Be the blade, the smooth fingers, the smooth hats. I'll be the adorable hats. So I just, I'm filing this in my own personal memory bank, okay? And my own personal memory bank is saying every time the worm shows up, you think it's different, and then you take it and it's the same. Give me a beaver buff in here. So I, I honestly think evaluating it by the way I feel about it in my heart, in my heart of hearts, we got the most insane mosquito luck to draw there. We got so lucky. Um, the way I feel about it in my heart, interesting, is that the worm is good. The way it seems to bear out in actuality, like when I try to use it, is that the worm is horrendous. I get terrible results with it, which might be my own fault, but I think I just need to factor that into my own brain and say like, maybe that means I shouldn't take a worm. Unless I have some kind of like, maybe I got a squirrel somehow. Eh, hey, nice horse build you got there. Be a shame if uh, everybody online used even a single hedgehog on their team. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. What a delightful little team we got here. Really makes you think. Hmm. We'll take our level up next time. We do. The good news is that the next level is when we can get garlic. 19! This is, we had the misfortune of catching Bovanka on their cupcake round. I think they fed a fish three cupcakes. That's, that's so rude. I'm leveling you even at great risk to ourselves. In fact, I'm leveling you even though it'll kill me. <laughs> Hold on, because you're going to do six damage. Everything on my team is dying. Okay, I can't in good conscience do this. So for now, I'm going to do that. But only because everything on my team would die if I didn't do this. So you're, I just want you to know you're lucky, okay? You're lucky. Also, we won easily. So don't even at me about that being like a bad decision. Now, we love it. Dude, honestly... I can't sell a blowfish because it's such an integral part of the squad. But I would sell a 6-6 six, six mosquito to get insane buffing happening here. You need to live. 
you also need to live, but you are living with one HP right now. Okay, I, this team looks pretty horrible. I'm also realizing we're giving stats to a unit that is getting eaten, and thus those stats aren't really being... They're not doing their best for us. <laughs> Which is true. However, you know, a stat in the hand is worth two in the bush. I've always said that. Salad. You know what? Why don't you take one of these for now as well? This would be a great time. I don't really care if we rack up wins, but it would be a really good time to not rack up like a bunch of losses. Nice team. Be a shame if uh, something happened to it at all. Okay. That's why we don't respect horses here. Love it. Love it. Fantastic. Living for it. Not interested. So this is the same as our earlier Hedgehog Peacock run on pay to win. <laughs> the, the only difference is we got some window dressing. <laughs> Holy cow. You're so lucky, sloppy parm. You're so lucky. Come on, level me, level me. You know it's coming, level me. You know what? If, if we're pinning our hopes and dreams on the peacock, so be it. Let's give the peacock some stats. At some point, I think we're probably going to dump a whale and let our hedgehog run wild. I think this is a good example of why. Like, the, the game would change drastically if we had let the peacock actually do some attacking there. We would have won that. But how are you to know, right? We're not on lethal yet, so just no panicking. Honestly, sell me. Buy me. I know, it's very strange. But you know what? People are very strange these days. Holy, did you see what? Him, me, him, me? Sorry, I didn't want to give you a 3D movie effect there, but... Now, this is like the flip side, where that turkey would have died if we had, uh, had a whale there instead. But, again, how are you supposed to know, you know? For a, for a brief moment, a brief impulse, I embrace the cat. And I think we're far too late to level the blowfish. That we did not get the best foods for, for a cat, but a cat is one of like the only genuine like late game scaling options out there. And its prodigious speed may well surprise you, okay? Not against the literally like the most scumbag build you could possibly run in the meta in the modern era, but it may surprise you. You gotta go on it. I, I hate to say it, but a 4-6 Blowfish right now is not cutting it. And I don't think our Hedgehog needs any more support, quite frankly. I think it's doing just fine on its own. Could, could give it some melon armor in the future. I don't know if this is all that. <laughs> oh my god. At least there's no fly tiger, but like, you know. It's still like, I, let me just put it this way. I'm going to take great satisfaction from beating you here. So thank you for that. That made my day. I'm not going to run a fly myself. Don't insult me. I think without a doubt, we want to feed you and get you to the next level. But I like having like two of you around right now. So I'm just going to give the, our penguins some meat. Just because might as well take advantage of having three gold. I don't know if we're going to be alive long enough for it to matter. You're still alive. We purged some melon armors. He's insane. The, the math exactly added up. <laughs> he's, he's unbelievable. He's the best to ever do it. I mean, we could guarantee you'd get one armor, but your HP is so low, or your everything is so low, honestly. I think you just do this, then throw a little pizza out there. Mmm. I don't think we're going much further than this. I could be wrong. It's It's been known to happen. It's happened before. Taking out someone's uh, 
hippo before it can attack is is very pog for sure. I bet we've never had a win with a level three tabby cat. We've never done it with a tiger either, but we're not getting there. And a hedgehog is not really that integral to our plans anymore. It just like literally happens to exist. I kind of want to do this just because if you get hit by a scorpion, it slides out and Kansas is going bye bye. Give you one of these. I think we could combine and then roll a cow next time uh, in order to get... I don't know, though. Like, I guess we could start scaling one of the cats if we're lucky enough to like live long enough to make that worthwhile. Dude, the math has been so good for us. We've gotten so lucky. Our hedgehog is working against us now that we have a 50-50 peacock, by the way. But that's so unfortunate. Because <laughs> that's what I'm doing next. Roll me. Melon? No melon? I would sell a 4-6 cow for melon. Oh, this. Give three pets 3-3? Three, three. That beats a penguin, I would say. <laughs> it hit exactly the three perfect pets, too. We need melon on our cat if, if we don't uh, lose or win this one. Hmm, interesting situation here. Breaking my own melon armor on the... Yes, we didn't need to break our own... We didn't need to have melon armor on the peacock because it gets hit by the hedgehog. I make that mistake often. That's that's a blind spot for me. Still, kind of a pog run. If I'm being honest, that's kind of a pog run. Be a cheesy sausage. By the way, you might say you like the pig now. No, uh, I, I really don't. But what I do like about the pig is that this was a rare exception. But on round one, you're very unlikely to see... Son of a... You know what? Let's go for it, man. Let's see what we get. I mean, it is a 3-5. Like, at least... I mean, I think it's worth 3 gold. It's just not as good as it would normally be, but it would also normally show up later. Anyway, what I was going to say is that I like the fact that um, it is going to kill almost anything in front of it at an early uh, round. Obviously, the later you get, that doesn't apply anymore. You're going to laugh at this, and, and perhaps you should. But uh, I, I kind of like getting a crab to level 2 now, just in case we do get a penguin. Like, that's, that's how much I value the penguin. I might have no idea what I'm talking about, but it gets the people going. Sure. Um, I still think you can take a peacock. You can laugh at me all you like. I think a peacock... I mean, it just did well for us on the last round. So I'm not going to, like, cry about it. I actually think this squad's kind of cracked, especially... Can you imagine the pogs if we get a penguin on our next level? Holy cow. We're going to go off, man. So not here, but here or here. Oh, piece of garbage. You piece of crap. <laughs> I'm just... I'm kind of just playing in many ways. Um, I think a deer is still very efficient, though. If you get it on level up, it's kind of cracked. Mosquito was a doubter that time. It happens. Whatever. We're still. I mean, we see in this we're melting them, man, and we still got a flex position with this otter. So like, I'm I'm loving that. Why don't you take one of these? Temporarily helpful. You know what? Why don't you take one of these as well? There's no shame in investing in your squad, even if you think many of these units will be sold. It, it gives you the chance to live long enough to actually get a benefit out of selling them. Honey Badger. Wow, so creative. Um, I think you could try to run a hippo here. If you're going to run a hippo, you... I mean, you probably sell the deer... And the otter. Then we add a hippo. This is a little perspective. I'm not the biggest hippo fan on the planet. We could split our bets. I mean, you know, I'm telling you. We can do this. I know it's only giving us 1-1 one, one times 2 right now. 
But like, it adds the frick up, okay? Quit hating, you know it's true. Also, like, pretty much a legendary blowfish, and yet it didn't matter at all. You love to see that. I would like some melon armor. I would sell you, get rid of you, apply a melon in the future, unfreeze the can, roll me, feed you. Obviously, like a monkey would really help us out with this hippo, but just having melon armor is something in and of itself. We also could use some more level twos just in general. We're gonna lose Scampy versus Penguin. That's, that's pain. That's something that'll hurt you deep in your soul. No pill, huh? A lot of interesting stuff going on here. I think we have to... S <laughs> a lot of interesting stuff going on here. I think it's like a freeze-freeze because they work well together. But then what do you do? Do you? Am I confident I can win this round? How about that? That's a rare one, but just... I don't, now it's tough to sell the penguin too, but like the cat plus the cow combo, like it's... It appeals to me. It intrigues me. And it's not going to matter because we're going to lose the honey badger. I'm going to run one back. It's not that honey badger is like a scumbag move. Like, I would rather see 20 honey badger teams than like, guess what I built? Hey guys, rate my victory. It's a turkey tiger fly parrot behind the fly. Okay, like congrats. Like you won, but at what cost to your psyche, you know? You basically like became like a Decepticon. Because the, you know, Optimus Prime was like, you have to pay your dues through merit. And then, you know, uh, Megatron was like, nah, man, just tell me what their secrets are and I'll be your friend. And then you're like, oh, Pog. You're like, you're the guy from 300 with the, you know, he kind of looks like he's from the Goonies. I don't remember his name. It's just like that... It's just so commonplace now. I don't know. I, I, I sort of feel like it's just sort of what are you going to do? Because, no, no, no. We got to focus on the dog. Power of the dog. Remember, power of the dog. Like, you can't nerf the honey badger effect without the honey badger, or without the badger itself just becoming like pure garbage, I think, or at least substantially less useful. You're so lucky. None of those. None of these. We need to buy something at some point. Unfortunately. We have to summon you. Man, that's a kick in the teeth. <laughs> in that case, okay, we're going to go like this. We need... Every time a pill shows up in the shop, we got to freeze that. You need a melon stat, man. Too sweet. 7-2 dog? What the dog doing but for real this time? Come on, finish the job? You didn't finish the job, you piece. I don't even want to think about how that goes if we have a 5-4 dog. This is enormous though. Buy me. Place me. Now you can gain as much attack as you want as far as I'm concerned. Pill me. Yours. Yours. For now, meet me, because you're going to get pilled as well. It's a strange looking world we got here. But hold on. This team's looking mighty similar. <laughs> Except... Oh, come on. <laughs> I deserve that, but this dog's getting there. I don't say that lightly. So, the, you need the support. You might not, but this makes some space for us. I'm very happy to see it. I think we'd still be happy, like, adding a turtle to the squad. But if we find something else, we might say that that's a little bit more critical. I don't know what we would add a melon to at this point. But just adding a melon to anything just seems like pretty high value. So, we're going to have an 11-6 level 2 dog. A level... Oh my god, his melon. His melon got sniped. Holy cow. His melon? No, not, not to a dromedary of all things. 
I got outthought. Okay, hold on. Yes. Sure. But then, I know you're going to be like, why do this when you... Uh, you're right. No, because we have a penguin. Sell me? Yeah, yeah. I prefer the penguin over the rabbit here, I think. Sell me? Buy me. Pill me. And I know it doesn't count as eating, but I think we're going to be happy we did this. Buy me. Freeze me. Freeze me. Freeze me. Okay. I'm not telling you without a shadow of a doubt that this run's getting there, because I think our penguin is only hitting two units, and I'm going to kill one of those units the next time I get a chance anyway. Ox at the back. Now you're making me upset. Just kidding. Get owned. Pizza time. Maybe we don't need a deer on the team. Maybe you just embrace the, the scaling already available to us. And we lean into it by feeding the crap out of a seal. And then later we sell an ox or a mosquito, depending on stats, to add a cat to the squad. What the cat doing? Hold on, hold on. Guy who won his last round. This is starting to look a little bit like a win. Maybe we're saved. Obviously, take this, take this. And man, oh man, another seal would hit the spot. I could live with this. It's a feed and you go up to the next level. I'm willing to take a bet on that. Are, this is not the most powerful scaling you're ever going to see in your life. But have you considered that we have triple melon armor? Our dog also is not doing as well as it previously did. However, don't. That's what you get. It's scaling as a result of the penguin, so it's not that big of a deal anymore. Also, now it's it's like Vegeta. It's super scaling. Didn't hit the seal. I don't cry about that. That's okay. We can at any point, I think at this point, get rid of our ox. It is not something I would do willy-nilly, so to speak. I would do it with a heavy heart. But... Uh, I think that it's no longer a fundamental aspect of this squad. We don't need another dog, quite frankly. We do want good foods. Um, and that's not like an incredible food. Also, I, I want to fit the tiger, but like it just genuinely doesn't help us. Like it makes our mosquito a little bit better. So we could level up our ox and then it would start getting buffs from the penguin. My gut's telling me that... I, oh, this squad is, is insane. It's been nice knowing you. Um, my gut's telling me it's a little late for that. But then I see this, and I'm like, you know what? Why not? And then straight up, I'm like, take one of those. I don't know if our penguin necessarily needs melon armor versus the foods we could give to the, the seal instead, but... I ain't going out like this. That that team that we just lost to was not a harbinger of things to come. Like that team was cracked, dude. That team was insane. We're now we're we're in our own lane. We're digging deep and we're going for gold, okay? Take one of these, feed everybody a little bit of juice. That's unfortunate. I rather than get a level 3 ox that I don't care for, I would honestly rather roll for foods that maybe put us ahead of the curve on the next uh, shop if we're lucky enough to live that long. We are a little understated as far as HP goes, but the good news is we're also a huge scumbag and we have an insane degree of melon armor. If you're going to build like the, the meta build, you got to actually follow through with it. Otherwise, it's just embarrassing. Like I, I feel bad. Not for what I said, but for what I just did. I saw the cat, but I'm I'm pot committed at this point, in my opinion. Sushi me for sure. You know what? The food's so nice, I'll eat it twice. It's a scary team. It's a strong team, but you can tell. They don't have a lot of confidence in that back line. They got a couple of stakes on there. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. You love to hate to see it. You love to see it. Now, don't get me wrong. 
I think we could lose this, but for round 15, this is a pretty strong team. And I, I have to put some respect, honestly, onto the Mosquito. The Mosquito did a great job of actually keeping the melon armor in balance in our favor. And for that, I'll always be grateful. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Also, a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. See ya!